Alright guys, we're back with the 2001 Volkswagen Jetta. You can see everything's back together. Driven the car for about a week, maybe got about 350 miles on it. No more check engine lights, everything runs good. Engine really pulls strong, the wife likes it, she's been driving it every day to work. Now what we have is, uh, we have a power steering pump that's leaking. I put one on here and it turns out this one here is leaking. Started leaking the very next day. It's a remanufactured pump, so we're going to take him off, get credit, and I already got a brand new pump, and so I thought we'd just go ahead and we'll show you what we're going to do on that. I've already started taking out the three spark plug wires out here on the back. The cylinder numbering is 1, 3, 5. Up here on the front is 2, 4, 6. Now I've already done these here on the back, but I'll just show you what I'm doing. Now these right here has got a little holder in there that you can just lift up with a screwdriver. Just pull it up, get it out of the groove there and we're coming back you just want to make on there number two okay we're going to have to pull this here to, um, cover off the top so we can get to the tensioner all right and we'll lay him over there so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, getting this here out Getting this one here out. Okay. So I'm going to mark this one as four, and I'm going to mark this one here as six. Spark plug wires are out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove this cover. It's going to have seven T30 bolts here. All right, there's one. And there's one right, right back here in the back. Okay, once you get all seven bolts out, you can come right over here, pull this cover here out, come back, lift the whole thing, set it aside. What I need is, I need some slack taken out of the belt so we can lift it off of the uh, you know the pulley on the power steering pump so here's the tensioner you see these here threads right here got a bolt this is a m8 by 1.25 75 millimeters long so we're going to screw this down in there and what this bolt is going to do it's going to pull this here tensioner back so it can take the slack, put some slack in the belt here. Now if you look right down there, you can probably see the, see the tensioner down here is moving back. Okay. And you'll get to a point where it'll just bottom out and that's good right there I think that'll give us enough slack there all right now this is our power steering pump right here and you can see we got some slack in there in the belt so I'm gonna take the belt off at least off of the pulley I don't need to take it all the way off let me see if I can tie it up over here somewhere. Yeah, maybe it'll stay right there. We don't want any oil dropping down on this thing right now. <laughs> All right, now to get this pulley off, this first thing we're going to do, if you look right in here in the center, it's a hex head. This is a nine millimeter. These out here on the outside, these three, these are six. So the idea is we're going to use a nine millimeter in here. And then we're going to put this here six millimeter in there. And let's see if we can't break it down. Okay, there's one. There's two. Okay. 
And we got number three over here. And just keep going until you get the three bolts worked out. All right, that's the last bolt. There's your pulley. There's the back side. Here's the three bolts. They're all alike, six millimeter hex. Okay. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these two lines. This is our return line. This is the high pressure line right here. This here bolt right up here, it's a banjo bolt. It's a 24 millimeter head on it. And uh, boys, make sure you got some uh, pan up underneath here. This here banjo bolt has got two metal washers on there. One's up on the top side of this here elbow. I'll show it to you when we get it off. There's a banjo bolt. And there's the two washers. Now it's a good idea to always try to use new washers, you know, but uh, I'm just going to reuse these. But when you do, just put them on just like you took them off. So that's how they came off right there. So that's how they're going to go. Alright guys, I'm saving a little bit of time here. I've already took this here clamp. I've slid it back. Hose is off. Now, there's three bolts up here on the front, all right? There's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. There's the three bolts, okay? Those are 13 millimeter. Now, there's two bolts on the very back. There's one right here, and there's one right here, all right? So there's the three bolts on the front, and I'll give you a comparison of them. You can look at them right here. There is a difference as far as in the length of the bolts three on the front are longer than the two that's on the back okay there's the banjo bolt now once you get all those bolts out it's uh you'll see this might be a little snug <clears throat> just grab it and just pull it right on out of there you can see it's uh like a u-shaped bracket here so it just fits up in there so it's uh, a little bit snug you might have to get a screwdriver pry it out but there's our pump so you can get a look at it Okay, and what happened here on this pump is down here on the very bottom on the back side this thing would pool up with oil right here and then it would just run down and then uh, you know overnight it would be about probably the size of about a six inch diameter so I guess what do I expect for $130 huh? like I say it's a remanufactured pump so I got a new one so we're going to close this video out, kind of keep it a little bit short, and then uh, y'all stay tuned. In the next video, we'll be putting a new pump back on and bleeding the system and, and uh, getting this thing ready. All right, thanks. Thanks, guys, for watching.